Can you use Topaz Photo AI for upscaling digital art? Well, yes, you can. I'm going to show you four examples today and give you some samples to download as well so you can check out my results. Stay tuned. Hello, everyone, and welcome to The Joy of Editing with Dave Kelly. On today's episode, I'm going to use Topaz Photo AI to upscale my mid-journey digital art images. What you're seeing right now is my Discord feed of the images I've created using Midjourney. And what you do with Midjourney is you basically feed prompts into it and it spits you out an image. It's really cool and I've been having a lot of fun with it. And if you want to make big prints of these images or sell them, you definitely need to upscale them. And that's where Topaz Photo AI fits into this scenario beautifully. Topaz Photo AI is a brand new product. It combines denoising, sharpening, and upsizing all in one great product. And it's really good. And it's still in its early stages. It will be developing you can save right now. It has an introductory price. It's normally going to be $199.99. You're going to save $40 off. Plus, I have a promo code for you to save an additional 15% off. If you already own all the Topaz AI products like Denoise, Sharpen, and Gigapixel AI with up-to-date licenses, this is a free product for you right now at this point. When you use my affiliate link, I make a small commission and this helps me to keep all of my tutorials coming your way. And that supports the joy of editing with Dave Kelly. And for that, I want to thank you very much. And by the way, I have good news for all of those who own the products but have left their licenses laps. Just click on my affiliate link to buy Topaz Photo AI and log into your account first, then come back and click buy photo AI. And then it will calculate what you need to do, how much you need to get your licenses current. And then you can download the product for free and that'll give you a very nice savings. Well, now let's go ahead and get started. Again, I'm working with digital art images, okay? And they're smaller images. I'm gonna click browse images. This is Topaz Photo AI, it's already been opened and the file browser comes up and just point it to where your images live. And I already have mine right here in this folder. I'm just gonna grab all of these images and click open and it'll start scanning all of the images. Now I will provide a Dropbox link in the description below this video where you can get the before and the after results of these images. So you could check it out and you can see what kind of results you'll get when you upsize digital art. Now that digital art could be AI art, it could be art you made on Topaz Studio 2, any type of art. Now, if you're wondering, what the heck is Mid Journey, Dave? Well, if you want to see a tutorial on how I made these images, let me know in the comments section below. I'd be happy to make a tutorial if enough people are interested in it. Just let me know in the comments section and leave comments or questions about anything. I'd love to hear from you. I said it scans all the images when you bring it in. It really does not. I could go ahead and click save four images right now and it would save them. It would go ahead and scan them before it actually outputs them. But if you want to check them out, which I highly recommend that you do, you need to click on each image. Right now, the first image, if I hover over it, it says it has provided denoising at a normal level at 4%. If I hover over the next image, it just says autopilot as well as the third and fourth. So it has not scanned those yet. So I will click on those and we'll see what kind of uh, results we get from the scan scan but the first one it is only added noise reduction okay now if i zoom into this image at say 400 percent, and if i left click my mouse you can see there's noise in that image now when i release the left click of the mouse you can see it's totally gone but it's done a beautiful job and it's also gave it a little bit of sharpening it doesn't say sharpening but it looks slightly sharper now we're going to be upsizing this let me go back to fit and I'm going to upsize this. Right now, it's 2304 by 1536 pixels. Let's go 2x. And that's going to give us 4608 by 3072. I'm going to go to 4x. And that will give us 9216 by 6144 pixels. But let's notice something very interesting. Remember it said remove noise before. Now you notice that shut off. So I expect that something different happens when you enhance resolution by upscaling. 
it seems to take care of the noise reduction and sharpening automatically for you. Now, that doesn't mean you can't come up and add more noise removal or extra sharpening by clicking on these, okay? And remember, you have subject only. If I hover over here, it's only getting the frog. Or I could shut subject only off and sharpen the entire image. But as I said, I'm finding with Topaz Photo AI and digital art, I don't have to touch these things. So far, that has been my results, and I'm liking that. So basically, when I bring these four images in here, all I have to do is determine how I want to upscale them and click save for images and it's that quick I am done so that is a super fast process but let's go ahead and pixel peep let me go into um, 200 percent and let's take a look here and let's notice I don't see any noise here so let me left click with my mouse here's before and you can see the pixelation in there so it's upsized it really well and here's the after it's sharp you know and it's always a good idea to go around to different parts of the image and just check it out and see what kind of result you're getting but i find i'm getting really great results and i'm going to go ahead back to fit now a little tip is whenever you're uh changing your zoom size the larger amount of zooming you're doing the quicker the rendering will be as it you know applies the enhancement to the image for viewing purposes that is so our cute little frog is ready to roll let's go on to the next image of this hummingbird and let's go ahead and click fit and as you can see it's scanning the image and in a few moments here we'll see what the final result is it's saying i have some noise it doesn't need sharpening there are no faces one thing i want to say about faces if you've done any uh art i find that the uh, face recovery is not that great for faces i it's perfect for photographs but as far as digital art i don't really use it now let me go ahead and size it up four times so let's click 4x and by the way max gets you up to like six times and you can also type in any number you want here for the width and the height if you want to but I'm just going to upsize it four times. That will let me print out a nice large print four times. And you'll notice it's going and doing its scanning again. It's enhancing it. And we'll give it a second or two here because it's on fit right now. And you'll notice it's, uh, well, this time it is using uh, remove noise, even though it did upsize it. So let's go ahead and zoom in so i guess it knows what the heck it's doing i'm zoomed into 400 percent now it has to enhance it okay so here is the before and here is the after it's totally gotten rid of the noise that's probably a little too close let's back out to say 200 percent instead of 400 percent give it a second to enhance and this is all real time this is how long it takes here's the before and here is the after and let's take a look down here at this flower down in this area. Also, the printing here for my watermark, we can take a look here and see what it does there. Here is the before and here's the after, but super sharp, super clear, no noise. And again, I just take the default settings and I've been super happy with the default settings. Again, the before and the after. Let's go ahead and fit this one back. Give it a second to render. Oh, it doesn't even need to render because obviously it remembers what it has done. That's our second image. Now let's click on the third image, the beautiful majestic mountains. And now I could never paint anything of this quality. I'm not kidding you there. Okay, so it's found some noise again. Let's go up four times. Let's see if it still uses remove noise at four times. It's enhancing the image right now. We'll wait a second here. No, it hasn't used any, but let's go into... Let's go into 200%. Give it a second. Okay. Here's the before. You can definitely see noise in there. And here is the after. So it's gotten rid of the noise. So it didn't need to add any extra noise removal. And again, you can alter any of these things that you want. Let's go ahead and fit this one back to screen. And now for the last image, give it a second or two to scan it. And we'll see what kind of result we get here. And what is it using? Well, it's removing some noise, no sharpening, no faces, and no enhanced resolution, but it will always enhance resolution whenever you upscale. So let me go to 4X, give it a sec here, and it's doing its thing. We'll just wait for it here, and it is done. Okay, 
And so now you'll notice uh, no subject detected, enhancing resolution by four times, and it's removing some noise. So this time it is removing noise. Just for the heck of it, let's shut off the remove noise. Look here and see if you see any noise when I shut this off. Give it a second or two to enhance itself. And I really don't see any. Here is the before and here's the after. It's definitely sharper too, wouldn't you say? So I don't think I need noise reduction here. So it's always a good idea to scan these things and see if you need anything else. But there it is. Let me go ahead and fit this back to the screen size. Before I go ahead and save these four images out, take a look at these icons down here. You'll notice they have little icons on them letting you know what's been done. And as you hover over them, it tells you exactly what has been done. Like the first one, it's been enhanced at a low resolution algorithm four times. And as I hover over the other ones, you can see this one's been denoised as well as enhanced. And the third one and the fourth one. Now let me go ahead and save these, click on save for images, and now you have choices here. You can give it a prefix, uh, you notice photo AI. You can also give it a suffix if you want. You can uh, have this toggled on, it'll add the applied filters to the file name. You'll notice here like it says, photo AI, hummingbird, digital art, denoise, enhance. If you don't wanna see all that, you can check this off, and now it's only gonna be photo AI and the name of the file, which I think makes sense. But if you want all that extra information, to know what you've done you can go ahead and toggle that on and then you have a choice to save to i like to go right back to the original folder but you can click this drop down and you have other options to where you would like to save it to and then there's format right now i have it set to jpeg but you can click the drop down and you could save it as a png tiff dng i'd be printing these out so i think jpeg would be great for that and quality at 100 percent. but you can also change the quality amount and now all I have to do is click save and it'll save all these images out. And it does a really pretty fast job at processing these out. I'm pretty impressed with it. I'll put on the uh, screen what computer I'm using and operating system and what kind of graphics card I'm using as well. And that, my friends, is all there is to it. Well, there it is, everyone, upscaling digital art with Topaz Photo AI. It's a winning combination. And don't forget, if you just have Gigapixel AI, that'll give you the same results. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial today. If you did, please give it a like and share it with your friends. If you're not yet a subscriber to my channel, please subscribe. Click that bell notification icon. And then every time I upload a new tutorial, you'll be notified. I want to thank each and every one of you for joining me today in the joy of editing with Dave Kelly. I'll see you all right here next time. But until then, happy editing.